Environmental issues are some of the most popular topics for global discussion among the policymakers. Different countries face different environmental problems, nevertheless, many believe that a global approach is needed for a balanced solution. In developed countries, the majority of the problems we face today are the result of the industrialization, increased manufacturing, and other human activity. Most of the countries of the world cooperate in order to improve the state of the environment and prevent further damage. Height and Sites argue, development has often harmed the environment, and environmental harm has in turn adversely affected development. For instance, industrialization led to the introduction of large-scale manufacturing, thus increasing the chemical pollution of water and air. Another technological development, the popularization of cars, led to increased gas emissions, which in turn contributed to the world climate change. The first conference on the environment was held in Stockholm, Sweden, in 1972 by the United Nations. As a result of the conference, the governments of many countries began to cooperate in protecting the environment, developing countries, however, feared that strict anti-pollution laws would halt their technological development, which could contribute to their economies and to the reduction of waste, which was the main source of pollution in these regions. The conference was held by the United States, one of the outcomes of the conference was the global awareness of the impact of human activity on the environment and the need for collective action. The article by Rinkesh discusses the 15 major environmental problems that impact the contemporary world, most of which are connected to one another. One of the most significant issues is overpopulation. More and more people are born each minute all over the world. The development of medical sciences, and the increased quality of life, on the other hand, mean that fewer people die from natural causes or lack of access to care. The combination of the two factors leads to overpopulation. The resources of the earth, such as water, fuel, and food, are not sufficient to maintain such a large population, which creates a significant environmental issue. Overpopulation is also linked to another problem, which is the depletion of natural resources, particularly of fossil fuel. This causes a rise in energy prices but also contributes to the climate change, Fossil fuel consumption results in emission of greenhouse gases, which is responsible for global warming and climate change. Climate change, in turn, results in a rise in temperature, which causes the melting of polar ice, increase in infectious diseases, and severe weather conditions, such as floods. Another result of the climate change is the loss of biodiversity. It can also occur due to human activity and leads to the deterioration of ecosystems and the disruption of natural balance, which may have severe consequences on the future life on Earth. Finally, another environmental problem that was brought about by humans is deforestation. Trees consume carbon dioxide and produce oxygen, which helps to combat the adverse effect of air pollution. Nevertheless, people cut down an enormous number of trees per year, which means that the forests are depleting rapidly, decreasing their positive effect on the environment and creating another environmental issue. Overall, it is clear that most environmental issues are tightly connected to one another, as well as to human activity all over the world. In order to decrease the adverse effect of this factor on the environment, it is crucial to create an environmental protection plan that would consider the developmental needs of all the countries, as well as the sources of their contribution to environmental issues. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out.